So I've been running an online business for around about 10 years now, and I'm always looking to find either new growth hacks or somewhere that attention is underpriced. Where can I advertise my business incredibly cheaply or much cheaper than I can elsewhere? Recently, my attention has turned to Twitter. We've all, of course, heard the news about Elon Musk purchasing Twitter. Whether you like that idea or not, it has certainly reignited interest in the advertising platform and so much so that apparently traffic to the advertising platform is up 22.4%. So I decided to take a look and what I'm trying to find out is, is it a good idea to advertise on Twitter? If I do use Twitter ads, am I going to get a better rate? Am I going to get a better cost per conversion than I do on Facebook, Instagram, Google, all those platforms I use? Of course, they're getting more and more expensive all the time. So the main question here is, is the attention on Twitter underpriced? Can I get good bang for my buck, for my marketing spend? That's what I'm going to try and find out in this video. The first step for me is to actually figure out the advertising platform because I've never really used Twitter ads before. And apparently there's been some changes recently and I'm sure with Elon Musk taking over and Twitter needing to become more profitable, there's going to be a lot of changes here. So I'm going to walk you through how to actually use this platform, what I've found whilst trying to use it, take you through, they have some guides on their website. What I would say is it really, really shocked me the price I was actually able to get conversions at, to get clicks at. I have not seen the ability to get clicks like this since Facebook first launched its advertising platform. You're going to want to see if you're trying to promote a business, a product, anything online, stay tuned. Okay, so the first step was to actually explore the Twitter ads platform. Like I said, it's not a platform that I have ever used before. So I started to have a look around and get to grips with things. What you'll find in here is it's relatively straightforward, really, is what I found. You can see the ads manager, you know, create a campaign. I found the easiest way to get started was actually to compose the tweets first, so actually make the tweets that I wanted to advertise. Come up, of course, with the name. You then select a destination. So is it a website, an app? You know, where is it going? Write it out. One thing I found that's a little bit frustrating is you can't put a huge amount of detail. I think it's restricted to about 200 characters, something like this in here. So you couldn't do a thread. Yeah, so you have to keep it very basic. You can then do single media, of course. So video, image, and then you can do multiples. So a carousel. I haven't experimented with the carousel yet, but I plan to at some point. So what I've done, I'll show you a few that I have already created, a few that I made earlier. So you can see the couple that I've made here. So one for this chat and you know, it goes to our website, of course, and the same here with this one. It goes to our website. So the goal of this is to advertise, you know, books that we published, authors who publish with us, get people to our website. And of course, you could do this with your business, your service, anything at all. The other thing that's pretty helpful in terms of what Twitter does is they have what they call their flight school. So you can find that and you can go through and they'll give you additional information. But the bit you're probably most excited to hear about is what results have I been getting so far. So one thing I still need to work out is I still have to get the tracking pixel working. So if you've ever used Facebook ads or anything like that, you have a tracking pixel, it tells you exactly when someone has converted. So not just the fact that they've clicked a link and they've gone to your website, but they've actually submitted an inquiry, they've downloaded something, you know, they've actually taken action. That has been a little bit beyond my capabilities. I'm not a developer, so I have a developer who has installed that on my website. Now we need to wait 24 hours for it to activate. So I will later on in the video, we'll see exactly how many conversions we've got. I'll also later on in the video explain, you know, after a week what the results are so we've got a better time frame but at the moment in terms of the results that I am seeing so far they have blown me away so with the very first ad that I did I am getting clicks for so sorry this was the very first one the Dave Caswell I'm getting clicks for just one penny where can you get clicks online for one penny it's unbelievable so, so far we've had 1967 clicks this has been running this is the third day this has been running and then I created a second an ad as well. This one originally in the first day was about 15 pence per click. It's now six pence per click. Absolutely incredible. You can see the link 
click rate. You know, this link click rate is over 50%. This one is at 45%. I think part of the reason for that is that the targeting on Twitter is actually really good because you can select similar Twitter accounts. You know, I suppose you can do the same thing with, with Instagram, but it's a little bit more based on interest. This, you know, we know with certainty if someone follows that account, they're probably going to be interested in what service that we offer. So this has been, yeah, really incredible. I have now got the tracking pixel, as I said, set up on the website. So next, I will show you the true results and not just the clicks. But what we have to bear in mind is that even just the link clicks, those people are converting into email subscribers on our email list or they're telling a friend or whatever it may be. So there is a lot of value just from, from these clicks. If you're enjoying this video, make sure to like it, hit subscribe. So the results are in. Now that I've had the Twitter ads running for around about a week or so, just over, we can actually look through and see, did I actually get any leads from it? Did I get any conversions? versions from it, we got the tracking pixel working in the end. So what I'm going to do is dive in to the dashboard here. So we can see a couple of the campaigns that we have here. If I go this month, I believe it is, there we go. So we get all of the campaigns I've been running. So you can see that I got a lot of impressions from the campaigns. The spend overall wasn't too bad. And really what's most interesting is what I was paying per click. So you can see for these two promotions, I was only paying two pence per click, which is absolutely nothing. You know, it's what, three pennies or whatever for the American viewers. The other experiment that I've ran as well, so I use a product called Tweet Hunter. You may have heard me talk about it before. Basically, it automates a lot of my Twitter work and helps me create viral threads and things like that. So I actually, I have an affiliate code for them. So I ran another test to see how that would work as well. Could I potentially promote that affiliate link and make it be cost effective. So I explored a few different things here. So the link click rate was good, in my opinion. Um, you know, the cost per result overall was really, really good, as you can see. But the results from all of this were not particularly good. So once I got the tracking pixel set up, um, I was actually able to go into Google Analytics and see, okay, well, did I get any leads from this? Um, and I couldn't find any specific leads that had come from the Twitter advertising campaign. So that's the downside to this. There were no specific leads for that money that I spent. Same thing with the Tweet Hunter campaign that I ran. So I added this a bit later as another test and the same thing. So it definitely got views and it got people to go and take a look, but people didn't convert. So there's a couple of ways I could potentially refine this in the future. So I'll maybe go revisit the, how I specified the audience, the Twitter handles that I use to basically, you know, say, go find people like this. Strange that it developed or that it generated a lot of clicks, but very low results, i.e. pretty much no results. And it was the same when it came to people joining the newsletter. So I thought, okay, well, I'll get a lot more eyeballs on our main homepage. And in turn, that should hopefully lead to some people signing up to our email newsletter, and then potentially they will become leads further down the line. But again, it was the same issue that they didn't really sign up for the newsletter, if at all. The views went up on the main page, you know, we're getting thousands and thousands of views every day. Again, it wasn't converting. So I'm going to leave this video here. It hasn't been a great result with Twitter ads. I'm going to go away, refine it, play around with it and see if I can improve it and run some more tests. So make sure to subscribe and follow along for future videos where I go into that in more detail, see if I can get some results from this. Like the video if you've enjoyed it and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.